Welcome to MathLearners.com. In this video, we are going to see how to play with questions and reminders. It is very important concept as far as Vedic mathematics is concerned, and many techniques in Vedic mathematics use this concept. Let's say suppose we want to carry out this division. So 16 by 4 gives us quotient as 4 and reminder as 0. So that can be written as quotient reminder quotient is 4 reminder is 0 when 17 is divided by 4 we get quotient as 4 reminder as 1 when 18 is divided by 4 we get quotient as 4 and reminder as 2 and we follow the same then we will get this as quotient as 4 reminder as 3 quotient as 4 and reminder as 4 but if you observe here we had written 20 divided by 4 and we know that uh, when 20 is divided by 4 we get quotient as 5 and reminder as 0 the, there is a difference between uh, 5, 0 and 4, 4 because we know a very important concept in mathematics that a reminder a reminder can never be greater than or equal to divisor so what we are exactly doing here we will be dividing this 4 by the divisor and the quotient will be obtained as quotient and reminder will be obtained as quotient will be obtained as 1 reminder will be obtained as 0 and this quotient will be added to the actual uh, previous quotient so that will come as 5 and this new reminder will be 0 let's say suppose uh, we are dividing some number by 9 and for that we obtained quotient and reminder as uh, 12 and 13 we are not concerned with what is x so as per this concept reminder can never be greater than or equal to divisor we got reminder as 13 which is greater than divisor 9 so what we are going to do we are going to divide this reminder by uh, sorry we are going to divide this reminder by the divisor by that is 9 so the quotient will be obtained as 1 and reminder will be obtained as 4 now this quotient 1 will be added to the previous quotient so so the new quotient will become 13 and the new reminder will become 4 let's say suppose we have another uh, set of numbers like uh, say x is divided by 13 and uh, quotient obtained is uh, 14 and uh, reminder obtained is 37 so we divide uh, uh, as this reminder is greater than divisor we know that a reminder can never be greater than or equal to divisor so we divide this reminder by 13 so quotient will be obtained as uh, 2 and reminder will be obtained as 11 so this quotient will be added to 14 so that will become 16 and that will be your new quotient and reminder will remain as 11 so if this 37 if we want to write in terms of this formula that is dividend is equal to divisor into quotient plus reminder so quotient we obtained as 2 reminder is obtained as 11 dividend is 37 and divisor used was 13 so if we write in terms of right hand side then that can be written as 13 multiplied by 2 plus 11 so <coughs> 
so what we are doing in short is that this two we had written we had added with 14 and that resulted quotient as 16 and remainder is obtained was obtained as 11 okay so this was the concept about remainder can never be greater than or equal to divisor but in Vedic mathematics there will be scenarios where we depending upon some criteria we purposefully have to make remainder greater than or equal to divisor so we follow the reverse method of this so let's say suppose we have divisor as 13 quotient as 14 and remainder as 11 and let's say suppose for certain uh, situation we want reminder to be greater than 11 so what we will be doing is we will first write quotient reminder quotient is 14 reminder is 11 <coughs> sorry so we now want uh, the reminder for our calculation purpose to be greater than 11 so what we will be doing we will taking one quotient from quotient side so it will remain 13 and when one quotient is going to the remainder side then it can be written as in terms of dividend divisor quotient remainder form divisor is your 13 one quotient was transferred so multiplied by 1 plus the remainder 11 so this will become 24 so now this is your new reminder 13 slash 24 let's say suppose now we obtain 24 as reminder and still uh, we want reminder to be greater than 24 so what we can do we can transfer one more quotient from uh, quotient side so that will be left as 12 and when one quotient is going to reminder side so that will be that can be written as the 13 is your divisor multiplied by one quotient has been gone plus the remainder 24 so this will be equal to 37 so new quotient will be 12 and new remainder will be 37 so let's say suppose we have we need to uh, let's say suppose we divided 17 by 4 we know that quotient is 4 and 1 let's say suppose for our uh, calculation purpose we need to have remainder to be greater than 1 so what we will be doing we will be taking 1 from uh, quotient so when we take 1 from quotient that will be left as 3 and 1 quotient has been gone that is 1 4 has been gone to remainder side so remainder will become as 5 let's say for 18 by 4 we got uh, quotient as rem uh, 4 and remainder as 2 and we want remainder to be greater than uh, 8 so what we will be doing we will be taking 2 fours from quotient so quotient will be left with 2 and as we are taking 2 fours from quotient so that will be 4 multiplied by 2 plus the remainder 2 so now the new remainder will be as 10 this might look very simple but uh, in addition with Winkelum uh, this process of uh, how to play with quotient and reminders is very important in uh, Vedic mathematics and uh, many techniques in Vedic mathematics uses these two techniques that is Winkelum and quotients and uh, reminders so it is highly advisable if you want to have complete grasp over Vedic mathematics or if you want to use the techniques all the techniques in Vedic mathematics to a good effect it's, it's very important to know how to play with, play with quotient and reminders plus Winkelum process and if you have any doubt still you can uh, uh, ask them in the comment section and if you want to give any provide if you want to provide any suggestion as well please do that thank you for watching this video